Hello learners and welcome to today's lesson of Geometry of 2D Shapes, Triangles, where today we are going to focus on the practice and application questions. So let's get right to our questions. So the first question that we are going to look at here, it says identify the following types of triangles. Now remember, each triangle has its own properties. So we are going to use these properties to see if we can identify the types of triangles. So the first one here is triangle ABC. And as we can see with this triangle, we have been shown that it has a 90 degrees as, as one of its interior angles. So what type of triangle do you think this is? If you are thinking of a right angled triangle, then you are absolutely correct because a right angled triangle is a triangle that has 90 degrees as one of its angles. Let's look at the next triangle here and see if we can identify it. Now looking at triangle PQR, we can see that we have been shown that PQ is equals to QR and QR is also equals to PR. So that means that all of the sides of this triangle are equal. So which triangle has all of its sides equal? Yes, it is an equilateral triangle. So of course, we know that with the equal sides, they are equal angles as well, which means that the angle P and angle Q and angle R are also equal. Let's look at triangle DEF and what information have we been given here to identify the type of triangle? We can see that DE has been shown to be equal to DF and those are the only two sides that are equal. So two sides are equal which means also two angles are equal as well. But what type of triangle is this? Yes, it is an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle has two sides that are equal, and of course we know that those opposite angles will be equal as well. Let's look at triangle LMN. What type of triangle is this? Now we can see that in this triangle, there are no sides that are equal and there are no angles that are equal. So which type of triangle is this? Yes, it is a scalene triangle because none of the sides are equal and none of the angles are equal as well. Let's look at triangle ABC that we've been shown there. What type of triangle is this? Now firstly, we are shown that there is a 90 degrees. Remember that block there shows us that this is a 90 degree angle. So we definitely know that this is a right angled triangle, but we have been also given additional information that AB is equals to AC. Now since as well two sides are equal and there is a 90 degree angle in that triangle, that means that this is an isosceles right angle triangle. So there we can see the different types of triangles and remember those properties or knowing those properties helps us know even more information about these triangles. Let's go on to the next question. Now the next question there says below triangle ABC is drawn with angle P is equals to 71 degrees, angle Q is equals to X and Angle R is equals to 30, sorry, 43 degrees. Calculate with reasons the value of X. Now let's look at where X is. And we can see that X is an interior angle of a triangle. And in that same triangle, we have been given two angles, which are 71 degrees for angle P and 43 degrees for angle R. Now, what do we know about the interior angles of a triangle? Because all of these are interior angles of this triangle. We know that angle P plus angle Q plus angle R give us 180 degrees. And the reason for this is because they are interior angles of a triangle. So, let us substitute the values that we were given. So angle P is 71 degrees, 
angle Q is X and angle R is 43 degrees. And we know this adds up to a sum of 180 degrees. Now, if we say is 71 plus 43, because those are our like terms there, then we can see that we are going to have the X plus 114 degrees. So we have X plus 114 degrees. And if we use the additive inverse of 114 degrees, we are going to have X is equals to 180 minus 114 degrees. Now, what is 180 minus 114 degrees? Now, if you are thinking of 66 degrees, then you are absolutely correct because 180 degrees minus 114 degrees is 66 degrees. So that means there that X is equals to 66 degrees. And if you add all of these angles, the interior angles, we will find a total of 180 degrees. Let's move on to our next question. Now, the next question there says, below, triangle DEF is drawn with angle D is equals to 42 degrees, angle E is X, and angle F is Y. DF is equals to 20 centimeters, and DE is equals to Z. So, calculate with reasons the values of X, Y, and Z. So, we can start off here with the easiest one that should be and um, side Z, which is the length of DE. Now, the reason why we can say it is easy is because we have been shown that there are two sides that are equal, and that is DE and DF. So we can see that DE and DF are equal, and since as well we know that DF is equals to 20 centimeters, that means that DE, which has been said here to be Z, is equals to 20 centimeters. So we know that that side there is also equals to 20 centimeters. Now what about the values of X and Y? Now X is an interior angle of a triangle and Y is also an interior angle of a triangle. And we have been given an interior angle of a triangle which is angle D, we've been given that value there. So we know that angle D plus angle E plus angle F those add up to 180 degrees. And the reason why we are saying this is because they are all interior angles of a triangle. So we can see there that we have been given angle D, which is 42 degrees plus angle E, which has been given a variable of X, plus angle F, which is our Y. And this is all equals to 180 degrees. Now, X plus Y is equals to, we are now going to use that additive inverse of 42. So we are going to say 180 minus 42 degrees. That means X plus Y is equals to 138 degrees. Now, angle X and angle Y are equal. Now, why are we saying this? It's because the angles are opposite equal sides. So remember, we've been given that DE is equals to DF. That means that angle F, which is opposite DE, and angle E, which is opposite DF, will be equal. So the angles are opposite equal sides. So this means that angle X is equals to angle Y and that is equals to the sum of both of them, sorry, and that sum is the one that we have calculated there that is 138 degrees and we are going to divide this by two. Now, why are we dividing it by two? It's because these two angles are equal and the sum of both of them gives us a total of 180 
degrees. So that is 180 degrees divided by 2. That gives us 69 degrees. 69 degrees. So that means that x is equals to 69 degrees and y is also equals to 69 degrees. Let's look at the next question. It says there, the following triangle is a right-angled triangle. Determine the length of PR and the size of angle Q. So we are going to first calculate the length of PR. Now remember, because this is a right-angle triangle, it means that we can find that length using Pythagoras. So we are going to say here that the hypotenuse, which is QR squared, is equals to PQ squared plus PR squared. Now QR is equals to 17 centimeters squared. PQ is equals to 8 centimeters squared. And we have now our PR squared. So what is 17 centimeters squared? That is going to give us a total of 289 centimeters squared. What is 8 centimeters squared? Remember that is 8 centimeters multiplied by 8 centimeters. That is going to give us 64 centimeters squared. And we are going to add this to PR squared. We are going to add PR squared to this. And remember the reason why we are calculating this is because we are using Pythagoras theorem and it's very important that we write down our reasons why we are doing or we, why we are writing such statements so this is the Pythagoras theorem let's continue with our calculation we are going to use the additive inverse of 64 so that is going to be 289 centimeters minus 64 centimeters sorry that is 289 centimeters squared minus 64 centimeters squared, and that is going to give us PR squared. Now, what is 289 centimeters squared minus two, sorry, minus 64 centimeters squared? That is going to be 225 centimeters squared. And what number do we square? and the answer gives us 225. Now, if you are thinking of 15 centimeters, then you are absolutely correct because 15 centimeters multiplied by 15 centimeters will give us 225 centimeters squared. So that means that the length of PR is 15 centimeters. And we've answered now the first part of our question which is the length of PR. Now what about the size of Q? Now as you can see there with the size of Q we can see that we have angle P which is an interior angle of this triangle and it's been shown to be 90. Then we also have angle, sorry, we are looking for angle Q and we have angle R. And all of these angles, they add up to 180 degrees. And the reason why we are saying this is because they are all interior angles and they are interior angles of a triangle. So angle P is 90 plus angle Q, which is the one that we are looking for, plus angle R, which we have been given as 15 degrees. That is 180 degrees degrees. Now if we take 90 and we add it to 15 degrees, that is going to give us 105 degrees. So we are going to use the additive inverse of this 105 degrees. That is going to be, so 180 minus 105 degrees is going to give us 75 degrees. And that is now the um, size of angle Q, which is going to be 100, sorry, which is going to be 75 degrees in such a way that if we take 75 degrees and we add it to 15 degrees and we add that to the given 90 degrees, that will give us 180 degrees because these are interior angles 
of a triangle. Let's quickly go to an ad break and then we'll see you just now. <laughs> 